Okay, question 17 and 18. Given that the probability of A is 0 0.3, find the values of X and Y. Okay, here's A. So what have I got? I have a 0 0.09, 0 0.07, and 0 0.04, 16 and, 16 and 4 is 20, 0 0.20. So x has to be 0.1. That's enough math to show. Y, well, I'm going to have to add these three together to get what's remaining. That's 16 and 4, 20, and 3 is 50. So 0.50 plus 0.20 is 0.70. So y is 0.30. That's x and y. Okay, so these conditionals, B given C and C given B. So we do B given C, the probability of B given C. Always write out what it is. It's the probability of B intersection C over the probability of the second one, which is C. So in this case, this is equal to B intersection C. Let me just get rid of these lines. B intersection C is this one. 16 and 10 so that's 0.26 B intersection C and over the probability of C just this circle here what have we gotten there well we have a 4 and a 16 is 20 and X was 10 that's 30 and 3 is 60 so 0.26 over 0.60 so what it looks like 26 over 60 13 over 30, is that right? 13 over 30 is a fraction? Yeah, 13 over 30. Okay, the probability of C given B, C given B is the same intersection, C intersection B and B intersection C are the same, but this time it's over the probability of B. So it's 0.26 over probability of B. What have we got there it is again we have a 4 and a 16 which is going to give me 20 and 10 is 30 and 37 so 0.37 i don't think that doesn't simplify 37 let's try 26 over 37. okay so anytime they look a little bit complicated like we have a bit of length in these three we just follow exactly the same rules so the probability of b i'll come up with so we can still see the diagram the probability of b question three the probability of B given A union C. So that's equal to the probability of B intersection A union C. Where do they cross? Over the probability of the second one, which is A union C. Okay, where does B cross with A union C? Right, well, here's A union C. You can do this with a pencil multiple times. You don't need to keep rubbing stuff out. But if you're in an exam, you can go over it with different colors or different levels of darkness. So where does B cross over with this? Well, you can see this is part of B in here. So that's where B crosses over. These three sectors here, the 7, the X was 10. 17 and 16 is 33. So that's 0.33. Where those three are added together over the probability of A union C. Probability of A union C, what did we have in here? Okay, A was 0 0.3, so we have them, and then we're adding the 46 here, 30 and 16, 46, be careful not that, train 16. So 30 and 46 is 0 0.76. This is a simple fraction, we just write 33 over 76, 3 and 11, don't go into 76, okay, so again, same format, A intersection C, given A union B union C. I need a big bracket. So A intersection C, intersection A union B union C. So where do these two things cross? Let's have a look. So A union B union C is the whole lot. And where does A intersection C cross over? What's in there? Well, it has to just be A intersection C. 
A intersection C is this one. That's where A intersection C intersection the rest of them. That's where they cross. So that's going to give us, looks like 0 0.14, the 10 and the 4. So that's going to be my top, 0 0.14 over the probability of A union B union C. When we got Y, what's inside the three circles? What do we get for Y? 0 0.3. So inside all the circles is 0 0.7. from earlier what do we get for y if a is x is 0.1 i've then got i have to bring up my 0 0.3 is a 0 0.6 0 0.7 0.8 so i should have been adding 30 here y is 0.2 not 1.1.3 that you all identified earlier of course so my total actually then is what's left inside is 0.8 Okay, checking back over your work will reveal these mistakes. So 14 over 80, which is 7, which is prime over 40. So that looks like that is fully uh, simplified. You could write it as a decimal too if you wanted. And then the last part, question 5. A less B given A union B. Okay, we'll come to the left. Let's rub all of this out. A less B. So A less B is this section over here. What's an A that's not in B? Where does A less B cross over with A union B? Well, it has to cross over in the same part of the subset. So we have, for part five, the probability of A less B, where does that cross with A union B? And on the bottom, we have the probability of the second one, which is A union B. So we said we're across, it looks like it's nine and four, which is 13. The two that are left in there is 0 0.13, this nine and this four. So now we have to put the union on the bottom. We know A is 30 from here. So 30 and 30, 60 and 16 is 76. So 0 0.13. Sorry, I'm looking at C there, should be looking at B. Should be looking at B. So 30 and what's in here? 20 is 50. So 0 0.50, which is 13 over 50. That's question 17. Okay, let's look at question 18 down below. The Venn diagram shows A, B, and C. So again, really straightforward, the probability of A is 40 and 10 is 50 and 16 is 66 0 0.66 I'll just rub the lines out as i go the probability of a intersection b is 9 and 7 is 16 a given b so a given b the probability of a intersection b over the probability of b is equal to a intersection b from part two 0 0.16 over the probability of b and the probability of b is the 9 and 7 the 16 and the 14 10 and 4 14 so 0 0.30 so the probability of a given b is 16 over 30 which is 8 over 15 probability you don't get deductive marks for not simplifying the fractions so don't worry too much the probability of b given a well we have the probability of a 0 0.66 so this one is the intersection which is the same as the last question so 0 0.16 divided by 0 0.66 16 over 66 2 goes in 8 over 33 for that one Then we have a less a given b union c okay probability of a intersection b union c so let's have a look at b union c so where does a cross over with these two in these three sectors here so the 9 and a 7 16 and 1 is 26 so this one here is 0 0.26 just to shorten it down a little bit where does a intersect with b union c over the probability of B union C, 
well you can see here there's a 40 and a 5 45 so there has to be 55 in b union c so that's equal to 26 over 55 i don't think that simplifies and then lastly the probability of c given a intersection b okay the probability of c so it's c intersection a intersection b so a intersection b is here where the c crossover with that will just the 0 0.07 so you should be able to jump into them now when you get really good at them you can kind of see where the answers are coming from 0 0.07 is c given a intersection b over the probability of a intersection b well there's 20 on the outside so there has to be 80 on the inside so that's just going to give me sorry a intersection b i was looking at a union b there not a a intersection b is the 16 here that we can see just here 0 0.16 so that's 7 over 16 that's this video complete